We've got an update on our No Shave November efforts. Right now, our team ranks as one of the top fundraising groups in the country. As of this morning, we have surpassed our goal of raising $10,000, and the leaderboard lists us at number two in the entire nation. In the country? In the country. Wow. Uh -huh. Mike Osterhage, Stephen Cavazos, and Mark Austin are in the lead. Uh-oh, David. Uh-oh, uh -oh, Justin. They on. have raised more than $1,000 so far. A total of 15 guys in the newsroom are participating in No Shave November in an effort to raise awareness and funds that go toward cancer research treatment and prevention. And everybody's looking. We're looking all right. We're looking good. But we wouldn't be number two if it wasn't for all the folks who are making those donations here. That's in pretty our amazing. So we thank you all very much. Keep them coming. We'd like to get a little bit more. Get okay. to number one. If A&M wins, you. I'll make a donation to Justin's fund. Okay, that'll work. And you know what? If LSU wins, you should make a donation anyway. I probably should. You should. Yeah. yeah. Either way. Multiply. Oh, we can go in. Right. <laughs> Mike O'Shea, he's like number one, didn't he? Aren't I you said like yes. The leader? Are you? That, the that, yeah. Wow. That big donation I got this morning makes the itch kind of go away. So it makes it makes it all <laughs> worthwhile. So thank you very much for that. All right. Thanksgiving week. Yes, can you believe? We're counting down, and we have a local bakery here to help out. And yeah. I, what I love about this place is they have a healthy twist. It's barbell sweets, and Something you won't believe really it. Really special, and that yeah. The empanada pie. Empanada. Empanada. <laughs> yeah, what's in the crust it makes you think of more of a pizza. Yes, you won't believe it. We're going to uh -huh. share that a little bit later. Also, the turkey. What oh. will make it better, Mike? How about wrapped in bacon? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Tony. Oh, wow. I haven't seen that I... video yet. Tony Sashery wow. is going to be here to tell us all about that. All right. You want to head over to SeaWorld. Yep. And our good buddy Chuck Rowe is here. And who have you with you today? We have star and American bald eagle. She's got an amazing story Beautiful. to tell you. This is Michael, one of our animal care specialists. He's got a great story to tell you. And a little fact that how the eagle kind of relates to Thanksgiving. It kind does. Of sort of yeah. Making... And don't spoil it now. And yeah. we're also going to give away four tickets to SeaWorld's Christmas celebration, the largest Christmas event in Texas. He checked every one of the nine million lights <laughs> out there. So also another uh, giveaway deal of the day. We're gonna be telling you about that yep. with some yummy cheesecake. Yep. These things, you could lift weights with these cheesecakes. <laughs> also, they are so heavy. Speaking of cheesecake, mm -hmm. the pie, do you do store-bought or homemade? Homemade right here, what yeah. do you wanna know? You? Yeah. Well, we're this doing, year? I think, store-bought. Okay. It tastes good anyway, so. <laughs> All right, that a lot more coming up on SA Live. Sitting at 68 right now, 72 this afternoon. Low humidity the next couple days. The humidity returns on Wednesday. Chance of showers late in the day and then a decent chance for rain early in the day on Thanksgiving. May still salvage the day though. Looks like rain moves out by the afternoon. Breezy and cooler, 64 and 60 is going into the weekend with another chance for rain on Saturday. Guys. Turkey looks like it's running from the rain. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to have to start paying those turkeys as much as they're being used these days. Um, the bald eagle. Interesting. Did you see that? What a gorgeous bird. The bald yeah. eagle? That bald eagle they had right there on the on the set. Oh. Stoic. Gorgeous. Kind of like Mike and Jen. We'll hear more from them, right? Now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. You know, next to the turkey, I think this might be the other star of the show, the yes, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is my favorite. Yes, you this, get to set it right. This one has right. a healthy twist. This is good, though. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. My truck was trying to scoot you over. It's because I'm eyeing it. I want okay. that. We're three days away from Thanksgiving. Can you tell we're, we're getting excited Ooh, here? Oh, that's tasty. <laughs> you talk. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> He's Mike Oster Hage, and I'm Jen Tobias Jeske, filling in for Fiona today. And we're talking turkey and, and pies, right? What's left of that there? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and so big question is um, as far as making pies and, you know, you want to do homemade pies, the mm -hmm. annual turkey. Instacart did their Turkey Day expose, and one of the things they want to know is how we like our pies. Yes, yeah, so according to this, the East Coast likes homemade pies, and people in Vermont find the most pie ingredients. And the more you move west, the more people seem to like pre-made pies. Hawaii being buying more pre-made pies than any other state. That's an interesting fact. Yes. I didn't realize that. And Texas looks pretty split with a slight lean toward homemade pies. I personally make my pies for Thanksgiving. I love it. Which which kind of pie do you make? 
of pumpkin cheesecake, which I got the recipe from Paula mm -hmm. Dean. So we got some cream cheese in there, lots of sugar, Ooh. lots of butter, lots of goodness, and then um, an apple pie. So mm -hmm. does it have more of a cheesecake consistency? A or, little or bit. I would say it's a good combination. So I wouldn't even really call it a cheesecake. It just it's a pumpkin pie with cream cheese in it. Mm. That would add a really good texture, a really good flavor mm -hmm. to it too. You're making me hungry. Okay, okay. stop it. <laughs> what do you do? Do you buy them at the store or do you make them yourself? Maybe yes. one of each? Yes. Do you have a special recipe? Mm -hmm. Or a local spot you'd like to support? Let yeah. us know. Or do you have one you want to donate to us and we'll give it the taste <laughs> test. So. Yes, tag us on SA Live Facebook or Twitter at SA Live Quesa and we may share your answers a little later in the show. Alright, if you don't want to do the baking, you still have time to pick up your own and our first guest can help out with both. Yes, Juan Ayala with Barbell Sweets is here. That's why we have our gloves on and he is ready to show us because I love this. What did our producer call it? Empanada. Empanadas. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we making today? Tell us what's uh, in So today we're going to be making our uh, pumpkin and pineapple empanadas. Oh. So I brought the dough and I brought the fillings. Uh, okay. So that's what y'all are going to be doing is just kind of putting them together. And putting them in an empanada, uh, it's a little untraditional, but the nice thing is you can then sample like that. Mm. Yeah. Cut them in half. Mix and match. Yeah, instead of doing like a slice of pumpkin, a slice of pecan, you get one or two of these, yeah. right? Yes, yes, sir. So we do uh, different flavors, pineapple and pumpkin right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but the great thing about uh, empanadas, you can do different flavors. You can do meat even as well for more yes. of a savory flavor. Okay, the dough looks like regular old pie dough, but it is nothing like regular old pie dough, right? Right. No. So uh, the way that we make our dough is actually it's a fathead dough. Uh, the main ingredient in it is mozzarella cheese. So that's what you were thinking probably yeah, about the pizza. <laughs> Mozzarella cheese in Mozzarella, yeah. So we, you oh. melt the cheese and some some uh, cream cheese together. Yeah. And into a big ball, and you add a couple of uh, cups of flour and almond flour because we don't use any uh, regular flour. Okay, so that has that's basically mozzarella cheese. Uh, know, with the, other, the majority, with the of it, yeah, it's probably about eighty <laughs> percent cheese. Okay, that's almost hard to believe. Okay, so and then you just stuff it with yeah, your just press it down. Favorite flavor? Yeah, uh, you'll probably want to oh. do it in your hand when you get the. The dough. Oh, okay. Put, just hold the dough in your hand. Oh, you go gotcha. flat okay. and kind of cup it. Cup it like Put that. a spoon in there. Okay. And yeah. can you basically put just about anything in here? So we, yeah, yeah. So you could do apples. You could do yeah. pineapple. We do the pineapple and pumpkin. Uh, like I said, you could do like a, a carnita, like meats. Mm -hmm. uh, and what, what I love about Barbell Sweets is that you guys started this because of your son, right? We you did. wanted to kind of limit the sugar, yeah. and so this became. Yeah, so we actually is. started with one uh, cupcake. It was actually a muffin, it's a chocolate almond muffin. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to cut the sugar out of his diet, and he kind of shared that at the gym that we were going to, and nice. we went up from there. So it is kid approved? Yeah, yeah. We love you we said have all three, uh, of your three kids, kids <laughs> that love different things in our shop. and. Constantly eating it every day. So okay. <laughs> now, if somebody was to do this at home, could you just use like regular pie dough and put the filling in? Yeah, yeah, you can use uh, any pie dough that you that you can get that's malleable. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of it uh, may be a little bit more crusty, uh, where it's flaky and it doesn't really fold. All right. Um, I can't believe there's cheese in this. Like I don't want I to smell it. I know. No, it doesn't smell like cheese. No, it doesn't. <laughs> then, to give on. it that nice little uh, golden texture. So once you finish uh, doing the the wrap, mm -hmm. you want to fold the edges with your fingers, kind of right. roll it. Uh, that way it doesn't come out of the edge. So oh, what okay. I did so here, do not roll. do this. Okay. <laughs> you made yours a little too small. You could just kind of pinch it. Okay. And then so. once you're done doing that, all you would do is get a egg wash. Mm -hmm. So it's just a, basically a beat up egg with a little bit of water. Uh, baste it over the, the top of the dough and then we bake it. Wow. And How long would you bake it and what time? Uh, so it only bake? takes 20 minutes to bake. So 15 minutes on one side, turn mm -hmm. it for the other five to finish baking. And, and what flavor do I have here? That one you have the pumpkin. Okay. Time to taste. Mm. And people still have time to order, yeah, right? Yes, so if you place your orders in today, uh, you can get your uh, pumpkin pie. You can get uh, any of your order today. by Wednesday, right before Thanksgiving. Okay, today's the day. Can you can you taste the cheese? Not really. I mean, it's, it's the thing. It's it just it's, it's a like different like a, type yeah. of uh, texture uh -huh. for the dough, um, but for the most part, it, it passes for pie dough, and I, I think it has a great flavor. Yeah, it does. You wouldn't, I mean, you really wouldn't know the difference if you just said, okay, it's a regular, you know, pie dough. But again, the nice thing about this is, hey, a little bit of pumpkin, a little bit of something else over there, and yes. a couple of these things. And, and the pie over there, well, first let's talk about these. So these are the pumpkin roll. So right? this is a pumpkin roll. We have our, these are called our rollout cakes. Uh, we have our triple chocolate, has a chocolate center uh, cream cheese with chocolate cake and then a chocolate ganache on top. Uh, the other one is pumpkin uh, and vanilla center. And then we have some hand pies that are apple and cherry. These over here, mm -hmm. okay. And then that pie has a crust on the bottom, right? Yeah. 
So the great thing about that dough is the empanadas, the hand pies, our cinnamon rolls, bagels, a lot of that, uh, a lot of our stuff is made with the same dough. Okay. And that dough is specialized uh, for low carbs, oh. and that's the reason it's made that way. It only has, the empanadas have about three carbs per empanada, what? which is great because there's no Take sugar these. or flour. All right. Okay. So. Well, like, and like you we have said, a deal as well. Yeah. You mm -hmm. have a deal? Yeah. So if you uh, mention the segment today, then you get a 15% discount okay. at our shop. Don't forget, if you want to order, do it today, basically, or you can take your chances and head on over there and you're out in uh, Hello. In Hello, right? yes, sir. Okay. All right. If you'd like more information on Barbell Suites, go to our website, salab.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you, Juan. Thank All you. right. Delicious. We started with dessert. How was it? Oh, really good. <laughs> Silly question, right? <laughs> but now it's on to the main dish. All right. You know, there's lots of ways to prepare your turkey, uh, fried, smoked, mm -hmm. roasted, spatchcock. We did that last week where you split it open. But how about just wrapping it in good old bacon? Yes, here's Chef Gay Sandoz from Tony, Tony Saturies with more. And I think she's wrapping this turkey. What? In bacon? Bacon. Take a look. Yeah. Hi, I'm Gay Sandals with Tony Sasseries, and today I'm going to show you how to make a bacon wrapped Creole butter injected turkey for your holidays. So, I, this is the finished product right here. You can see how gorgeous it is. I've decorated it with some pears, oranges, cranberries, and over here are some products that Tony Sasseries sells on www.tonysasseries.com or in your local stores. Well, actually in stores all over the United States. So I'm gonna show you how right now. So I have about an 18 pound turkey here and I'm gonna start with injecting it with our Creole butter marinade. And the marinade comes with the injector on it in three different flavors. You have the roasted garlic and herb, you have the butter and jalapeno, you have uh, that's roasted garlic and herb, and you also have a honey ham marinade. So I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to pour it into a cup so I don't cross-contaminate the rest of the marinade. And then we're going to inject it using about one and a half ounces per pound of meat. And you can see how it plumps the meat up and puts the flavor inside of the meat. This is great for any kind of meat, actually. You can use it on chickens, pork, roast, uh, steaks, beef. Now we're gonna inject the entire turkey and then we're gonna season it. And today I'm using our more spice seasoning. We have many, many different flavors of seasoning. Today I'm using the more spice. So I'm gonna literally sprinkle it all over this big boy. This is a great, easy, and delicious recipe. Probably the one, one of the most moist turkeys I've ever tasted. And now comes our bacon. So we're gonna put our bacon like this, horizontally, and cover the entire turkey. And you're gonna wrap the legs with the bacon, wrap the legs, and then you're gonna come back and do a weave. So I'm gonna go over, under, over, under, over, and so on and so forth till you finish the entire turkey. After you put the bacon on, you're gonna pop it in the oven and cook it for two hours and then cover it with foil and cook it for about two more hours until the internal temperature is 165. Always use a meat thermometer. Don't rely on the pop-ups because sometimes they don't work. So always have a meat thermometer to cook your turkeys and you can make this bacon wrapped Creole butter injected turkey for the holidays. I'm Gay Sandoz and welcome to my home. Happy holidays and happy cooking. Yum. Bacon wrapped in turkey. Mm -mm. Okay, mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and all of those, you know, the seasonings, the marinades, salad dressings, all that. I mean, they've got uh, millions of so different options. products, it seems like, and they're all available there at HEB. And online, they have recipes for sides, appetizers, dinners, breakfast, casseroles, pretty much any meal you can think of. Yep, and for a link, go to our website, SALive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Still ahead on SA Live, the holiday spirit is spreading around the Alamo City where you can enjoy the sights and sounds of the season with season with cute critters as well. And a gift for you and someone you love. How you can get a little something extra when you buy a certain gift card. It's our deal of the day.
But first, it's a big surprise for a young girl battling for her life. We catch the moment of the big reveal and how it's helping her and her family during this difficult time. It's a story we can all be thankful for. That's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, every week we are bringing you a Happy Space segment where we team up with local interior designers for and other experts for tips and tricks and transformations. And today it's a local nonprofit, Savvy Giving by Design and the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Yes, they are doing a playroom makeover for a three-year-old who is battling leukemia. So she was in need of her own Happy Space. Take a look. I work with Savvy Giving by Design. We do room makeovers for children who are currently experiencing some sort of medical crisis at no charge to them. So Elise is a, a three-year-old girl. She's got leukemia. Um, she was diagnosed last August and has been going through treatment since then. I had just finished or started my 13th year of teaching whenever she was diagnosed in the very first week of school. Um, so after we found out what all her treatments would entail, we I had to leave my teaching position in order to do treatments with her so um, we've kind of been going through this whole COVID period and doing treatments at the same time and that was back in starting in August of 2020 and so we just hit a year mark and so now we're moving into the second phase of her treatment. So we've done several transformations for families in the past. Uh, today we're doing a playroom for Elise. She has been homebound since she's been um, going through treatment and so this is going to be a place where she can play and have all of her toys organized and, and a healing space for her. Um, right now, we, so far we've done a little bit on a paint treatment on the wall. We're planning on finishing that. Um, we're going to be doing a craft table, chairs, and a, we'll have a sleeper sofa in here where she can get comfortable and watch a movie with her family. Um, we'll have a media cabinet with a TV and uh, two separate areas, one for play, one for relaxation. So she should be nice and comfortable in here when it's all said and done. pressure and we're always racing to the finish line but we always make it and <laughs> I know today will be no different. The crew here with Savvy Giving by Design has one day to complete their task, a complete transformation of little Ellie's playroom. As you can see this includes lots of painting, reorganizing, adding some lights and well you'll see the rest. And here's the big reveal. As you can see, she has a comfortable area to watch movies. She also has a stylish new egg chair to relax in. Ellie loves crafting, so a craft table was a must. And there's plenty of shelving and storage for books and toys. But now, it's time to see her reaction. a completely different house. Um, we were, it, it's not what we envisioned, but it's, I think, better than we envisioned it. Right. I think that's what um, having a designer come in, because they have so much more background and um, design capabilities that we can kind of give them ideas, but we never imagined it looking like this. I've been there for hours every day since um, we, it was made. <laughs> so this is the, your favorite part? Yeah. <laughs> One of the things that we wanted to have was this bench area here. Mm -hmm. um, we had the bookshelves <laughs> built. Um, my dad did that for us. Oh, and then, dad did that? Yeah, my wow. dad, he's quite handy. <laughs> nice. He did these for us. And then um, I had them make Wish Foundation. They had someone come in and build this bench, and it lifts up for toy storage. Um, 
they're going to have some more artwork on the walls that we can we can take it off and put new, their new artwork since they like to do art so much. We're home all the time, so having this space is really helpful, especially keeping her entertained and just feeling a sense of peace mm -hmm. in our home with this um, calm space. <laughs> we all spend a lot more time in here, not just the kids. have seen a lot of different transformations that Savvy Giving by Design has done and they're always amazing just one day to do all of that so the pressure's always on them so here at SA Life we're very thankful for all those nonprofits doing things like this giving back so yeah it's really cool to see just the something a little special when right. they, a, little, a little one is going yes. through all that yes that. well if you'd like more information on Savvy Giving by Design of course head over to SALive.com and click on the as seen on SA Live tab always a tearjerker story Jen thank you all right still ahead on SA Live look your best for Thanksgiving with the family we have tips for wearing a certain outfit that can be tough to pull off and next Spend the holidays with some cute critters. Yes, they're here on set where you can meet this animal ambassador and enjoy the biggest holiday parties, one of the biggest holiday parties in town, straight ahead. Welcome back to SA Live. The holiday spirit is taking over San Antonio, and that includes wet and wild wintry fun at SeaWorld. And our good friend Chuck Rowe from SeaWorld San Antonio is here to introduce us to some of the animal friends that they have and how you can celebrate Christmas and the holidays with a bunch of lights and everything. Lots of great good traditions. To you, good to be here. Well, Thank good. you so much. Lots of great traditions about Christmas. We'll talk about that. But Thanksgiving is just a few days away. Yes. A little bit of trivia. Benjamin Franklin wanted the turkey to be the national symbol. Wow, really? Instead of? Instead of the American bald eagle. And that's where we segue into this beautiful animal right here. This is Star, a rescued American bald eagle, along with my good buddy Mike, one of our senior zoological uh, uh, members. Mike, tell us about this amazing animal. So this amazing bird that you see before you is Star, just like Chuck said. And she belongs to a group of animals we care for at SeaWorld that we travel all over the place with uh, just to share their stories. Some of them are surrendered pets, some of them are rescues. So it's just to get the message of conservation out there and that's what SeaWorld is all about. Uh, so Star here is one of our rescue animals of course. She is originally from Florida. Uh, so, oh, there we go. <laughs> So she was rescued over in Florida. What happened is a storm blew her nest down when she was just a few weeks old. And, she hasn't um, uttered a peep yes. all morning. She and wants now to she tell her story. She's and, uh, yeah, she wants to tell it, not me. <laughs> yes. So uh, because of the fall after that storm, when she mm -hmm. fell out of her nest, very, very young, by the way, just a few weeks old, she sustained an injury to her left eye. Mm -hmm. And for bald eagles, vision is imperative. Adequate vision is imperative for their survival. They needed to learn how to hunt and how to fly properly. And she was never able to do that very young. So uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife deemed her non-releasable, and we take care of her here at SeaWorld. And World. she's a great ambassador, right, to help educate as it's well educate mm -hmm. people about conservation and the thing that, that is important that Michael touched upon right there is SeaWorld rescued over 39,000 animals in our history and when we rescue these animals the goal is always to rehabilitate them and return them but the federal government has the final say so and if they say hey no she needs a forever home we're going to step up. And again up she wouldn't have made it in the wild and that's why you have her there and she's a great ambassador it's so beautiful to see that bird up yeah, close. Yeah, so. yeah. And people can get up close with her uh, if they go visit now because you have a lot going on with the holidays. Oh right? yeah we got <laughs> SeaWorld's sea Christmas celebration happening now until the end excuse me now until January 2nd it is the biggest Christmas celebration in in the state of Texas with the largest light display in Texas nine million lights I know it because I helped put some of them up it was all hands on deck the great ambassadors there went out there wow. and put up lights look at that it's just it's beautiful so there you can do coasters in the dark we have all these different holiday themed areas Manu we have Snow. yes Manu Snow <laughs> Ginobili is right there we got peppermint uh, forest right there you have opportunities to have dinner with Santa and Mrs. Claus dinner with Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer Aww. we have all sorts of amazing look at that we have yes. Christmas market it's uh, that's Texas right, right there. there it's that a that Christmas is. tree I'm made out of boots that that's a tongue and of this lights is all this week Yes, it's all this week of Thanksgiving. Okay. Yes. And, and then, then selected evenings up to Christmas. After that, look at this. Merry Mariachis. That is a, that is a <laughs> San Antonio that. twist on an old favorite. Um, and, and you know, San, yeah, Santa Claus actually left his sack here and he left a gift. Michael's going to talk about this animal right yes, here. Yes, Santa sure delivered today. Uh, this is Nura. 
And I'll tell you right away, she is not a baby kangaroo. She is a full-grown adult Bennett's wallaby. Which and is how old? She is 15. 15. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, yes. So, so snuggle like that. <laughs> absolutely. So no matter what age, uh, marsupials, which are animals that uh, are born and develop oh. inside of the mom's pouch, they never really outgrow that fondness for the pouch. So she's very, very comfortable in it. And you can see, uh, she is full grown, but she is a lot smaller than what you would imagine a kangaroo would be. So her tail is two feet in of itself. And with her body, she's about four feet in length, weighing about 24 to 25 pounds. And if you notice, Look at her eyes right away. What do you see there? You see uh, those lashes. Those I really long eyelashes. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> so she's on the ground, so she'll eat a lot of roots, stems, uh, shrubbery, any vegetation pretty much on the ground. And she uses those eyelashes just to keep the dirt out of her face. And the big claws on her hind paws. Oh. Are those for defensive purposes or digging? Yeah, so she has very, very powerful hind legs that she uses to hop around. So wallabies <laughs> typically hop up to six feet high if they wanted to. And they dig a lot too as well. And, and that's what that tail is for. That tail is for balancing when she's standing on her two hind legs like she's doing right now. That is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, if you want to head on out there, we have a uh, family four pack available, yeah. go to salive.com and you can enter to win that, to head out there to see some of the animals, to see nine million lights. Line. My kids love it. Chuck checked yes. them all himself. <laughs> <and> <laughs> one at a time, yeah, it's, it's a great. Come on out, bring your family, your friends to Cyril's Christmas celebration. All right, thank, thank you so, you so much, very Chuck, much for bringing those animals. And again, for more information on how to enter to win and see world in general, just go to uh, salive.com and click on the essay and click on the essay on essay live tab and also seaworldsanantonio.com. Still ahead on essay live, cheesecake lovers, listen up how you can turn a cheesecake gift into a free sweet treat for yourself. That's coming up. And next, want to be the best dressed for Thanksgiving? We've got tips to nail an outfit that can be tough to pull off. Keep it here. You're watching essay live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, she was named San Antonio Fashion Stylist of the Year in 2019 and Texas Fashion Stylist of the Year for 2021. And our guest is helping you nail your winter weather look. Jules Aldez, owner of Trend Boutique, is here with what to wear now that things are getting a little bit cooler and we're talking turtlenecks, right? Yes, exactly. We're talking turtlenecks today. Mock turtlenecks and then just regular turtlenecks and um, how to style them and be chic at the same time and not feel frumpy or... Okay, not your grandmother's turtle. Exactly. <laughs> as, you, as you were wanting to yes, say. Yes, yes, that's case what in, I started to say, yes. Case in point, our first model here. All right, our first model here, she has on just a lightweight turtleneck, which is great because you can layer it or just keep it, you know, or Texas weather, we just never know. Uh, to put it on trend, it has the puff sleeves, so it gives it a little bit more of a trendy look, and then paired it with a great uh, coated uh, pant. And then for her, she's just gonna, has the look that she's gonna go shopping after Thanksgiving, so she wants to be comfortable. So I paired it with a great pair of flats. It also has a two-tone. So it gives it some dimension in the outfit, but then she's comfortable at the same time. And it's light enough to where you could maybe throw a jacket on top of that or something exactly. like that, right? Yes, uh-huh, okay. exactly. Okay, um, again, back to the, the frumpy aspect <laughs> of it. How do you keep it looking nice and, and stylish? So, and, and I hear that all the time because I have lots of clients that do want to wear the turtlenecks. But for example, with, with our next model, she has a full, on turtleneck but to keep it from the front factor is she has the metallic specks in it so it gives it a little bit more of a sparkle trend it's not just like a flat look she has a flouncy skirt that goes with it well flouncy dress that goes with it so to keep in mind that it not necessarily you have to wear just the thick bulky sweater mm -hmm. there's lots of choices out there uh, to where you can choose from and with her flouncy and then she can do a short boot or a tall boot and then that just gives it a great look she could also carry that from day to to evening. All right. Are there some people that just can't or shouldn't wear a turtleneck? Uh, well, I don't really normally like to have any rules when I'm styling, but I do feel that you should probably choose a mock turtleneck if you're a little bit heavier up here, uh, just to keep a smoother line so you don't worry about this accentuating. You mm -hmm. know, many ladies are very self-conscious about that. So I did that look with Sherry. Sherry has on a great leather bomber jacket, and um, it has the mock turtleneck. It's actually part of her outfit so she would keep that on um, and then 
I just paired it with a very simple dress, but really for this one, it accentuates the mock with the nice earrings, and then of course the boots are just yeah. like completely fabulous. So she's definitely not frumpy with her turtleneck. Okay, now, as far as, as layering, the other thing we have to worry about here is because you can start off on the cooler side, and yes. then all of a sudden it can be up to 75 degrees, exactly. and you're wearing a turtleneck. So here's a perfect example. Exactly, so with our last model, she has on a great example of that. So she has on a, a velour, it's all velour, so she's is you know a little bit warmer, but if she gets hotter in the afternoon, then she can slip that off. But the velour is so nice, it is a, it's a little bit higher of a mock turtleneck, but as you can see also, the key is to wearing like great jewelry. You can wear vintage pieces, long necklaces, the long necklaces keep the long line. Uh, she has pattern on her dress, and then she also has the ruching on the side. So she has a lot going on, so that's not what you're, you're not focusing necessarily on the neckline, you're focusing on the other parts of her outfit, and then some great short booties to go with that, so. Okay, and need Christmas shopping done? You can do it for folks, right? Yes, exactly. So one of the things that I do with my services is I shop, I Christmas shop for, for clients, and I can, you know, they give me a list, I go out shopping for them, bring it to them, I do returns, exchanges, as well as styling them for their holiday parties. Okay, and once again, all the beautiful variations on the turtleneck. Thank you very much, ladies, and you can shop for the latest styles in home goods at Trend Boutique, or Jules Audez can help you style it yourself, and she can give you a full closet makeover as well. And for more information, go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, next, don't go into another year with sleep problems. How a local clinic can help you get the best night's sleep you had in years. Stay with us. You're watching SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Are you feeling tired all the time? It may be that you're suffering from sleep apnea and you don't even know it. Here to tell us more about some of the signs to look out for and how to treat it, sleep technician Veronica Morillos with the Center for Sleep Apnea and Snoring. Welcome. Thanks for having me again. This is a big issue right here in San Antonio. It is. Everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> San everywhere. Antonio and everywhere in the world is a big issue. Yeah. And some people may not even know they have it. So first question, what is sleep apnea? So sleep apnea is when you have pauses in breathing while you're sleeping. Of course mm -hmm. it happens, uh, it could happen hundreds of times while you're sleeping. And what happens is uh, there's a collapse of the airway. as people People, you know, they fall asleep, they start breathing, normal pattern, then all of a sudden they start snoring, and then you hear nothing. That's pause right there, nothing's happening, you're not breathing, no oxygen is going to your heart, your brain, and That's so that scary. could be uh -huh. very dangerous, mm -hmm. right? So sleep apnea contributes to diabetes, high blood pressure, and possible stroke. And that was my question because obviously the snoring, right, we're aware of that, but what else can happen? Snoring, so a lot of the patients that I see out there, you know, the snoring is a big sign, but then also you feel really sleepy throughout the day, mm -hmm. you cannot concentrate on what you're doing, all you're thinking about is, I need to get a nap in. Mm -hmm. And what happens when you don't sleep well? You make poor choices, right? You're not exercising, right. you're not eating right. All you want to do is sleep. And then it contributes to, it's just like a pattern, it contributes to bad habits. And then you get worse and worse and worse. Some people fall into some depression mm -hmm. because they're not getting that sleep that they need. It can affect your entire life, Exactly, right? exactly. And we've seen those big CPAP machines that can help with sleep apnea and they're bulky, right? Um, and they have to get plugged into the wall. So you have a similar device that can help. Tell us about it. Yes, we do. It's called a mandibular advancement device. Now the CPAP machines work perfect for people who are tolerating tolerating it or for people who have severe sleep apnea. Mm -hmm. But for those pa people that are not using the CPAP machines, they put it underneath the bed and they're not using anything or those with mild to moderate sleep apnea, we have this appliance right here. It goes on your upper and your lower teeth. You bring that lower jaw forward. I'm trying to kind of guess it right there. And when you bring that lower jaw forward, it opens up the airway naturally. Um. So you're able to use it at night. You could drink water, get up and go to the bathroom without having to unplug yourself yes. from the wall. Yes. And it does one for snoring. My husband, when we go out of town, he wears it. I tell him, I'm going to mention you out there because without <laughs> it, I cannot be in the same room with you. We're going out of town. You don't forget your appliance. And very convenient too. <laughs> oh yeah, very convenient, so. especially when you're traveling, you know, on a plane, yes. in the airport. Yes. A lot of the people complain about having to go through there and mm -hmm. having to open up their machines. This fits in the little box. You put it in your purse or your pocket 
and it's really easy to go. And it's covered by insurance, correct? Most insurances do mm -hmm. cover the appliance, yes. All right, and you have a new location off We Marbach, do, right? we have a new location, 8700 Marbach Road. We're inside Celebrate Dental. Okay, easy to remember and a special offer for our viewers today. Yes, first 25 callers get a free consultation. All you need to do is call. We'll schedule that appointment with you and get you in there. Wonderful, Veronica, thank you. Information's on the screen. First 25 people to call will get a free sleep consultation. That's a $200 value. Just give them a call, 210-598-8200. And for more information on the Center for Sleep Apnea and Snoring, visit their website, stopsnoringtx.com. Veronica, thank you. Thank you. Next on SA Live, choosing the right health care can be overwhelming. We're helping you figure it all out with a Medicare plan that is best for you. Plus, our deal of the day is next. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. It's time for our deal of the day. When you purchase a $50 gift card from the Cheesecake Factory, you will receive a $15 promo card. That means you can get yourself a little treat when you buy a gift card for a friend or a loved one. And he's enjoying this, by the way. This offer starts today online and Friday in stores. Beware, you can use the $15 promo cards card starting a new year. They just brought us a little treat today. Oh. They've got oh, man. red velvet, mm. um, Oreo, salted, oh, my God. salted caramel. <laughs> And Hershey's, pardon me. Yeah, and so the deal this is lasts the until the end of the year. Can I just say, mm. this is dangerously good. I'll take one more bite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Thank you, Chief of Factory. It's the annual enrollment period for Medicare, but if you're new to the process, well, where do you even begin? Here with answers is Dr. Kenneth Adams, Chief Medical Officer with United Healthcare Medicare and Retirement in Texas. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Let's break it down because Medicare annual enrollment, well, you know, it can be overwhelming. I mean, that's an understatement. So why annual enrollment is so important and what advice can you offer to help make the process of choosing a plan even easier? Good question. So five things, really. Choosing a Medicare plan is one of the most important decisions a person can make, not only for their health and well-being, but also for their wallet. The Medicare annual enrollment period runs from October 15th through December 7th. Remember that, December 7th, every year. And while choosing a plan can feel complicated, it doesn't have to be. First, you want to check your current coverage to see if it still meets your health needs and see if your benefits will change next year. I know my daughter's having some surgery next year, so we're planning for that ahead of time. Then, number two, determine if the plan is still a good fit for your budget. That means paying attention to more than just your monthly premium. You should also understand that there are other out-of-pocket costs, including deductibles and co-pays, and those costs can add up. The good news for United Healthcare members is that most will see a stable or reduced Medicare Advantage premium, including nearly three million members who will have a zero monthly premium. So number three, with continued uncertainty uh, surrounding COVID-19, there are safe and effective ways Ways to find dedicated support in choosing a plan. United Healthcare has the tools and technology for simple, no contact enrollment. Now, the Medicare plan you select can have a significant impact, of course, on your health and well being. What are some of the most important things to consider when enrolling in a Medicare plan? So that's, that's really important. Your, your Medicare coverage is set up to ensure you have access to the care you need. First, confirm your preferred doctors and hospitals are available through the plan you're considering. Access to affordable quality care is a big consideration when choosing a plan. Second, don't forget about dental, vision, and other benefits. Take advantage of wellness programs and other plan features that can support you in living a healthy life. And lastly, make sure your medications are covered. All right, and people are facing important decisions, of course, about their Medicare coverage in the weeks ahead. Uh, what are some resources they're looking for help as, you know, as they're looking for help or support uh, as they make their decisions? So I'd offer a few key tips when you're considering uh, your prescription coverage and uh, what you can do to find a location to, to help with support. I would look at UHCMedicareHealthPlans.com. All right, Dr. Adams, cost for prescription drugs, of course, a concern for many folks. What is important to consider when it comes to your Medicare plans drug coverage? So I'll offer a few key tips when you're considering prescription coverage options. First, as I, I mentioned earlier, I make sure your medications are covered and also that your pharmacy is in your plans network. Number two, keep 
total cost in mind. Pay attention to the out-of-pocket costs, too, like the annual deductibles and drug co-pays. And finally, see what other programs or features might be available through your plan to help you with prescription cost savings. For example, United Healthcare is again offering plans that limit monthly out-of-pocket costs to $35 or less per month for all covered insulin. All right, Dr. Kenneth Adams, Chief Medical Officer with United Healthcare, Medicare and Retirement in Texas. Thank you so much for your time. For more information on United Healthcare plans, just call 844-693-1430 or visit uhcmedicarehealthplans.com. Benefits, features, and devices vary by plan or area. Limitations and exclusions apply. For more information about Medicare, visit gettoknowmedicare.com. Dr. Adams, once again, thank you for your time. Thank you. Tomorrow on SA Live, we're spicing up your Thanksgiving meal. A local restaurant takes a creative spin on the main entree. Well, where we asked you, homemade or store bought on Thanksgiving? Homemade pumpkin and Ooh. minced meat. Whoa, and yum. Overwhelmingly, it was homemade pie. Of course. Just like Grandma used to do. <laughs> and what's that? A pumpkin with, with cream, with cream cheese? cheese? Paula Dean, look it up. It's great. You're going to bring a piece tomorrow? <laughs> sure, why not? See you tomorrow. <laughs>